Okay, hello, Milly. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> yes, how are you today? I'm very well. And you? I'm fine too. Thank you for asking. Okay, so what did you do today, Milly? I play with my friends. Oh, you play with your friends. Did you did you go outside your house? I don't know. Did you go outside your house playing with your friends? Yes. Ah, okay. So that's good because you are allowed to go outside there. Okay. How was COVID in your country? Do you still have active cases in COVID in your country? No. Hello, Millie. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Millie? Yes? I cannot hear you. Can you hear teacher Millie? Yes. Ah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. So can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Wait for a while. Yes, I already recorded this one. So how's the weather in your city, Millie? Is it good? It's very cold. It's very cold. Uh, yeah, same here in our province because it's raining from 1 p.m. in the afternoon until um, 7 p.m. It's raining. Okay, did you eat your dinner already, Millie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So welcome to our class again. So for tonight... We will continue our lesson in Unit 2 entitled Animals, Animals. Okay, so where did we end, Millie, last time? Let me check. We are done with this one, right? Yeah. Yes, we are done with this. This one, how about this one? Are we done with this? Yes. Yes, okay, next. Ah. ah, we are not yet done with this one, Millie. Yeah. Okay, so let's continue with this slide. So here you say, then you write the animals. Okay, so what is... Okay, since, since I already know your favorite animal, your favorite animal is dolphin. Okay, so kindly look at the animals from 1 to 12. Yeah. Are you afraid of any animals there? Yeah. Which animals are you afraid of? Is panda. Panda. You are afraid of panda? Yeah. Okay. How about a shark? Are you afraid of shark? No. Who? Are you sure? <laughs> a shark? Yeah. You're not afraid of shark? Yes. Ooh, you're very brave because you're not afraid of shark. Because, you know, teacher is afraid of shark. When I ride banana boat, are you familiar with banana boat on the beach? Yes. Yes. When we ride that one and we are on the deep, deep sea, deep blue sea, I imagine that there will come a shark. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm afraid of shark. But it's, yeah, that is possible also. Okay, so is there any animals here that you are afraid of aside from the panda? A fly. A fly. Oh, you are afraid of fly. Okay. What else? Are you afraid of a lion? Yes. And a bear. 
Yeah, and a bear. Okay, but there are also some bears that is friendly, just like Marsha and the bear. Do you watch Marsha and the bear, Millie? No. No, okay, that's a very good movie for your age. Marsha and the bear. Okay, I will type it for you because maybe you're interested with this one. You can search it on YouTube. It's a very good movie for children. Okay, so which animals are beautiful for you? Is a dolphin. Uh, yes, of course, because that is your favorite. What else aside from dolphin? Is a rabbit. Yes, a rabbit is cute. That's correct. What else? And is a parrot. A parrot. Yes, that is also beautiful. Okay. Do you still have... Uh, did you find any animals that is beautiful also, aside from those three or none? How about a kangaroo? Is it beautiful or not? It's a beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, so which animals is ugly or are ugly? In a parrot. Parrot is ugly? Yes. Do you know what is ugly? I don't know. Ah, okay, very good. So ugly is not pleasant to see. That is the opposite of beautiful. Okay, I will type it so that you can really remember. Okay, here, text. Ugly means not beautiful or wrong spelling. Okay, beautiful or not pleasant in the eyes to see. Okay, that is the definition of ugly. So which animals is ugly for you? That means not beautiful. It's a bat. Yes, a bat. <laughs> that is a very good choice, Millie. Because uh, as you can see, the face of the bat is, yeah, really ugly. ugly. Okay, what else aside from the bat? Is a bear. A bear, yes. Only in this picture, but you know, bears in, um, in reality are, are beautiful. Okay, but I don't know about their personality because in the cartoon movie, bears are very kind. Yes, they are very caring. Okay, so aside from bear and bat, do you still see any animal that is very ugly? Is a shark and lion. Yes, a shark and lion. Okay, how about a fly? Is it beautiful or ugly? Ugly. Yes, because I don't like the eyes of the fly. And... Yeah, in real life also, I don't like flies, especially when they, when they landed on my food because it's dirty and it has bacteria. A fly is very dirty, okay, because they will just land to everywhere, especially in a poop, yeah, in garbages. Yes, okay. So which animals are funny? Funny. It's funny. a dog, rabbit, yes, and kangaroo. Yes, they are funny. Okay. How about a lizard? Is it funny? Yes. It's yes, funny. sometimes. And the... And Parrot. Parrot, yes. Because, you know, 
parrot will imitate your sound. For example, you will say beautiful. Then the parrot will also say beautiful. Because parrot is a talking bird. They can talk, but not like us. Uh, they don't they they can just talk, but they don't know the meaning of of the word. Unlike human, we know what to talk and what we say about. But the parrot will just imitate the sound. They will just imitate you. For example, you will say ugly, ugly, ugly. Then the parrot will also say ugly, ugly, ugly. But they don't know what they are talking about. Okay, so which animals are dangerous? Is a wolf and panda. Yes, why are you afraid of panda, Millie? <laughs> because as far as I know, panda are it's very... Not, yes? It's not a panda, a wolf and a fly. Ah, a way and a fly, okay. How about, what is this one? Ah, yes. Okay, very good. Because you submitted your homework. Okay, very good, Mili. Thank you for submitting your homework. I just checked now in Zalo. Okay, so it is um, a whale and a fly. Okay. Do you know the meaning of dangerous, Millie? No. Okay. So when we say dangerous, this gives us harm or danger. Okay. Yes, this means... Okay, here... Okay, here. When we say dangerous, it gives us harm. Okay, we are at risk to be at danger. Okay, uh, the animals that are dangerous are... I'll wait for a while. I will circle uh, here. Okay, shark. This is dangerous. Also, a lion because some lions will eat you alive. Yeah, this is very dangerous because they are living in the, because lions are wild animals. Okay, and also maybe a whale. Yes, yes, this is also dangerous. Okay, very good. So before we proceed with the other slide, Mili, do you have any question to teach her? Yes. What is your question? What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a dog. And I have a pet dog. His name is Max. Yeah. He's two years old. Yeah. Um, his, um, his, his breed is half Labrador and half Golden Retriever. Do you know Golden Retriever, Millie? No, I don't have a pet in my home. Ah, you don't have a pet in your home. Golden Retriever are very friendly dogs. But my dog, Max, is not friendly because he has, because her breed is mixed with Labrador. That's why it will bite you if he is not, he don't know you. Yeah. Okay, so do you still have any question to teacher Millie? Yes. What is your question? What's your hobby? My hobbies are uh, on my free time, I love reading books and I also like watching movies. Uh, especially in the morning. More, um, in the morning, that is, I'm very vacant with in morning. And what I do in the morning is when I wake up, I eat. Then after that one, I watch Korean movies. Yes. Do you know K-dramas? No. 
Korean movies. Yes. Okay. I watched that one. Okay. So, Mili, let's proceed with the next slide. So, you say then write the animals. Okay. What? Okay. For number one, what is the name of that animal? Can you please write it below, Mili? Yes, you yeah. can you can use your pen. What's the name of the animal in number one? Is a bear. Yes, okay, very good. How about Number two, a flying animal. It's a bat. Yes, it's a bat. Very good. How about number three? It's a rabbit. Yes, a rabbit. Can you please write it? Yes. Okay, very good. It's a rabbit. How about number four? What is that animal? It's a kangaroo. Okay, so you write it. Okay, very good. How about number five? It's very ugly. I don't it's like, yes, it's a fly. I don't like the eyes of the fly. And so do I. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. How about number six? Your favorite? Is a dolphin is my favorite animal. Yes, okay. Can you please write it also? Okay, very good. How about number seven? It's a panda. Yes, it's a panda. Can you please write, Millie? Yes. Very good. How about number eight? Is a whale. A whale, yes. Okay, very good, Millie. How about number nine? There's still it's four. Yes, it's a parrot.
Okay, very good. How about number 10? Is a shark. Yes, can you please write the shark? Yeah. Okay, very good. How about number 11? We're about to end with these animals. How it's about... Yes, a lion. Okay, very good. How about the last animal? It's a lizard. Yes, that is correct. It's a lizard. Okay, very good, Millie, because since you're doing great in this activity, I have a reward for you. It's a burger. <laughs> okay, so do you like burger? Yes. Okay. I like what is your favorite food so that I can prepare next time? It's a pizza. Yes. Cheap fries. Okay, so if teacher will give you a reward, what reward would you like so that I can prepare? You like food? Yes. Okay, so I will prepare more food next time. Okay, here. This time, let's proceed with the next slide. So you write all the animals as quickly as possible in alphabetical order. When we say alphabetical, alphabetical order, Mili, that is from A to Z. Okay, for example, in A, I will give you an animal, ant. Okay, I will give my example here. Oh, where is my mouse? Okay, here. I will write example, ant. Then you write a bug or a bee, a cat. Then until you will go to letter Z, which is zebra. Okay, can you make it, Millie? You write all the animals as quickly as possible in alphabetical order. Can you please write, Millie? Okay, we yes. will start with letter A. You can write it here. This one in this box. I don't write. You don't you you cannot write. You don't have your pen. No. Okay. Why? Wait. Um. You cannot write. Okay, I can try now. Ah yes yes yes. Okay, take your time, Milly. Yeah. Yes, a squid, a dog, what else?
paket. Did you erase it, Millie? No. My computer is in there. Ah, okay. So, Mag-leave na kayo na ang kuwan sa loob. Then, ikuwan niya po, mag-upload siya po ka. Ma-pay, ma-pay din ka. Ambot mo rin half from anata. Zero, zero point five. Excuse me for a while, Mili. Snake, yes, there you go. Yes, you have a goat. You already have letter C, letter S, letter G, letter S. Okay, what else, Mili? When we say alphabetical order, those are from letters A to Z. Okay, so since you, you did your best now, okay. So very good, Mili, because you were able to write four... One, two, three, four, five, six names of animals. Okay, so this time I will show you the answer. We have bat, bear, dolphin, fly, kangaroo, lion, lizard, panda, parrot, rabbit, shark, and whale. Okay, so this time you order the animals from biggest to smallest. Okay, so kindly look at the animals here. Okay, so which is the biggest animal animals here? I think the biggest is a bear, shark. Yes. Okay, wow. so you write here. You write bear. Okay, from biggest to smallest. Bear. What's next? Shark. Okay, you write it, Mili. Yes, you can write. You can continue to write.
A bear, a shark, whale. And panda. Yes, a panda. Can I drink water? Yes, of course, you can drink your water. I come in. Yes. Okay, you can continue to write, Millie. Yeah. You have a fly, very good. The rabbit. Rabbit. Okay, very good. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's still more, Millie. What's next to rabbit? It's a lizard. Lizard. Okay, teacher will write it for you because I think you are tired writing now. <laughs> Lizard. What else, Millie? Parrot. Parrot. What else? Is a kangaroo. Kangaroo. Okay. Take note that it is from biggest to great, biggest to smallest. Okay. What else? And but, uh, but, but, okay. So here is your answer. So this time I will show you the correct answer. Okay, from small, biggest to smallest, we have a whale. Whale first. Whale is the biggest, okay? Because you know, whale is very big and fat. Bear, next, panda, kangaroo, dolphin, lion, shark, rabbit, Parrot, bat, lizard, and fly because fly is the smallest animal among the among all. Okay, so do you have any question to teacher Millie? Yes. Okay, what is your question? What time do you wake up? What? What time do you wake up? What time do I wake up? I wake up. 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, um, 
uh, usually my classes is 2 11 p.m. That's why I wake up a bit late because I sleep a bit late also. <laughs> yes, okay. And I don't have classes in the morning. So it's really my free time. Okay, so this time, Millie, let's move on with the next slide, which is our part B. So which parts of a crocodile can you see in the pictures one to four? Yeah. Okay, so what are these? This one. What animal is this one, Millie? This yes. is a crocodile. Yes, this is a crocodile. So what part of a crocodile can you see in picture one? Is a ice crocodile and a nose. Yes, you can see. It's eyes, nose, and his face. So it's his, okay, eyes. Very good. So how about this one? What is this? The second picture. It's a head crocodile. What? It's a mouth crocodile. Okay, it's the mouth of a crocodile. Okay, it's how about big. this one in number three? Is a leg crocodile. Yes, it's his feet or leg. Very good. Okay, leg or foot. How about the fourth picture? What do you call that one? I don't, I don't know. Okay, so it this is what we call a tail. A, a tail. tail. Yes, a tail. Okay, and what do you call this one? This is a baby crocodile. Yes, it's a baby crocodile. Okay, very good, Millie. Because of that, I will give you an ice cream, a smiling ice cream. Yay! Okay, so this time, let's proceed with the next slide. Okay, so here I will ask you some question and you answer teacher. Okay, for question number one, is a crocodile's mouth big or small? Is a crocodile's mouth big? Yes, it's very big. The crocodile can swallow you alive. That's why crocodiles are very dangerous. Okay, for number two, is a crocodile's tail long or short? Is a crocodile's tail long? Yes, you say, you, okay, I will type it for you. You say... The tail okay. Can you please read it, Millie? The tail of the crocodile is long. The tail of the crocodile is long. Okay, very good. How about number three? Are a crocodile's legs ugly or beautiful? Is it ugly or beautiful? It's uh, ugly. Yes. So you say the crocodile's legs are ugly. The crocodile's legs are ugly. Okay. So do you know that crocodiles come from eggs, Millie? Yes. Yes, they come from eggs until they become bigger and bigger. And they legs, they lay eggs also. Okay. So do you have any question to teacher Millie before we proceed with the other uh other slide? Yeah. Okay, what is your question? What do you like badminton? I don't. I don't like badminton, but I can play badminton. Yes. How about you? Do you like badminton, Millie? I like badminton, but I can't play badminton. Why? 
Why you cannot play badminton? I can't play badminton. And I say my mom, my mom, my mom help me play badminton, but I don't stand. So I can't play badminton. Ah, uh, you mean you don't know how to play? Yeah. Ah, uh, badminton is very easy. Yeah, you will just catch with your racket the what do we call the ball of the badminton shuttlecock yeah. yes you will just catch with your racket the shuttlecock okay yeah. so this time let's proceed with our next slide which is our part c so how much do you know about crocodiles so you write yes okay if uh you know or no or other if otherwise you don't know about it okay so there are seven questions here in this slide so you read the seven questions then you decide if the answers are yes or no then you write your answers in pencil so if they are wrong you can easily correct them okay mili so for number one do crocodiles only live in rivers? Yes or no? What is your answer? No. Crocodiles live around. Uh, crocodiles live very, very city in uh, COVID. Yes, that is correct. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you write your answer there, Millie. Okay. Yes. Okay, for number two, do crocodiles open their eyes when they are swimming or close? Do they open their eyes when they are swimming or do they close their eyes? What's your answer? It's open eyes they're swimming. Okay, so do open your eyes. Yes, so you answer yes. So you write your answer there, yes. Crocodiles close eyes, they can't see in the crocodile's close eye um, are swimming. They can see in in the in the water. Yes, that is correct. If they close their eyes while they are swimming, they cannot see anything in the water. Okay, for number three, can crocodile swim and walk? Can they swim and walk with Millie? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're right. Yeah. So you're kindly please. I kindly write your answer there, Millie. Very good. How about number four? Do crocodiles have lots of teeth? Do they have lots of teeth? teeth yes they are have lots of teeth yes they have lots of teeth okay how about number five do crocodiles eat birds what is your answer do they no. eat birds crocodiles eat meat don't eat birds Okay, so that is a no. You write no there. Okay, how about number five? Oh, <laughs> here, wait for a while. So your answer for number four is yes. They have lots of teeth. So it's a yes, Millie. 
Okay. For number five, do crocodiles eat birds? No, they eat meat according to you. Okay, so for number six, is it safe to go swimming with a crocodile? <laughs> is it safe to swim with crocodile, Millie? No. <laughs> no, because crocodile might eat you. Okay, so it's a no. How about number seven? Is a baby crocodile inside its egg for 20 weeks? What do you think? So is it yes or no? No. No. Okay, so this time, Millie, for us to check your answer, we will read about crocodiles on page 106. Okay, so let's read about crocodiles in page 106. Okay, so here, Mili, can you please read number one? Yeah. Crocodiles eat fish, birds, animals, and sometimes they eat people too. They do not eat grass and paint. Or plants, that is plants. Yes, so crocodiles eats birds, so it's a yes. How about number two, Millie? Can you please read it? Yeah, a crocodile has a lot of body and mouth and a long tail. A crocodile has short legs, but be careful because they can swim and they can run too. Okay, so you are correct. They can swim and they can run also. And they have a long tail. Very good. How about number three? Can you please read it, Millie? Yes. A mother crocodile sits, sits on her eggs for about 12 weeks. Then the eggs open. The mother carries her baby crocodile into the river. Into the river. Into the river. Okay, let's check your and your. Eh, there were twenty weeks. Okay, it was twenty weeks. So you answered. Where am I? Wait, Millie. Okay, so it is twenty weeks. So your answer is yes. Is it yes, Millie, or no? So yeah. it is 12 weeks. Very good. How about number four? Can you please read it? You can find. You can find crocodiles in many parts, parts, parts of the world. Very Some good. crocodiles only live in rivers. But some crocodiles can live in the sea too. Yes, yeah, so you are correct. They can live everywhere, whether in land, in province, in the forest, in the rivers, and they also can live in the sea. Okay, very good, Millie. How about number five? Can you please read it? When crocodiles swim, they can see their mouth are under the water, but their eyes are above the water. A crocodile's eyes are on the top, on top of it, it is head. Yes, okay. So they open their eyes when they swim, just like in this picture here. They are opening their eyes. Very good, Millie. How about number six? Look inside a crocodile's mouth and you can find a lot of teeth. They can have between 60 
and 18 teeth. Pupil have about 30 teeth. Yes, okay, very good. Because, you know, um, a crocodile have a lot of teeth and they have more than teeth compared to people. Okay, people only have about 30 teeth. Imagine, Millie, if a crocodile will bite you, they will bite you? Nah, you are not alive when the crocodile will bite you. You are very mm -hmm. fortunate if a crocodile will eat you and you are still alive. Imagine they have a 60 to 180 teeth. And it's very sharp. Okay, for number seven, can you please read it, Millie? Yeah. Crocodiles are then grown animals. You show never to near them. Okay, so we read this one as should. Should. Should, okay. So as as what I have told you recently, crocodiles are very dangerous because they also eat people. That's why when you see a crocodile, you should run away and don't ever go near them because they will eat you alive. Okay, so mm -hmm. since it's already time, Mili, do you have any question to teacher? Yeah. What is your question? What do, do you have a best friend? Yes, and I have a best friend. I have four best friends. You can say four name best friend. I know. I only have one best friend. But I have a lot of friends. You can say one best friend you. Yes, my best friend is my sister, my eldest sister. Yeah. Yes, because we grow old together from infants until now. So my best friend is my sister. We quarrel a lot. Yes, so that is what best friends for. Okay, but I have a lot of friends, Millie. Okay, so since it's already time, Millie, I think it's time to say goodbye to you. See you on Monday, Millie. Have a good night and enjoy your weekend. Keep safe always. Bye-bye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye.